Hmm, what could this be? Hey everybody, Camper Van Kevin here. How are y'all doing today? Hmm. Me, right as rain, good as you could expect, better than you could hope for. Yep, yep, yep. Enjoying my time here in Quartzsite, but as everyone should know, if you don't know, let me let you in on a secret. It's almost Christmas. Had a good Thanksgiving here at camp with friends, but uh, Christmas is right around the corner. A couple weeks in, and uh, I tell you, if you're in an RV, we all know that space is limited, right? But you still may want a Christmas tree. I'd still like to have a Christmas tree. And last year, when I was camping with Full Tiny House, uh, the kids, Dana and Steve, um, well, I had this idea. I had this roll of uh, blue painter's tape laying around in the RV. And uh, had a lot of space on the side of Miss Gypsy, and I had an idea. Man, man, talk, talk about ideas. I, I think it's like one of your best ones. So uh, anyway, the kids cut out some decorations and uh, what do you call it? Balls for the tree or whatever, made them out of paper and they made snowflakes and stuff. And uh, anyway, we decorated about four RVs with uh, what are, we, what are we gonna call it? Painter's tape Christmas trees? But uh, everybody said, well, why didn't you use frog tape? It's already green, Christmas trees are green. Well, I didn't have any frog tape last year. This year, yeah, I got some. And uh, let's see here. We got the blue painter's tape. I got my uh, garage propped open here using it kind of as a table. I'll show you what else I got. I got a bunch of uh, ribbons and bows. That was a dollar at the dollar store. How do you make that for a dollar? I don't know. Do you know? This is the biggest expense. This is a uh, green frog tape. Got this at Home Depot. I had, uh, I took the uh, wolf pack in with me. Here's a couple pictures of them in the, uh, in the buggy, uh, was right, was just pushing them around the Christmas trees and stuff that they had for sale. Uh, got these lights at uh, Home Depot as well. These are the twinkling kind. And then I went in and got 50 foot of frosted garland at the dollar store. Same time I got these, uh, got these ribbons. So, uh, I've been looking around the RV here, trying to think where the best place to put the Christmas tree is. And I almost decided on the back window here. But uh, yesterday, I, I had to go and dump, so I loaded up Killer Mo and the electric bicycle and the monkey. And after I dumped the black water, the gray water, picked up some fresh water I drove around just looking at different campsites look what I found someone had taken the time to build this spiral out at La Posa South and uh, wasn't nobody camping there now look at this somebody went to a great great effort to uh, to make this I walked around it and walked through the maze and everything it was it was perfect but uh so i ended up staying there a night but i may be going back tell you what back to this christmas tree well felix felix is in the christmas spirit he's already got lights on miss gypsy look at the uh, pictures of miss gypsy at night what he's done done to her so uh yeah felix has the christmas spirit already 
it's time to get my RV in shape. Martini, where should I put the Christmas tree at? I don't know. It don't matter to me none. I bet baby May May has an idea. I bet that baby May May knows. You put it wherever you want, Dad. That's my baby. That's my baby. Well, yeah. it's okay with y'all. I'm going to put it right there. And I realize that I've already got... These are the factory graphics from Bigfoot. So, uh, give me a minute. And I'm going to see what I can come up with. Another reason I chose this, I got power right here. I can power my lights. So, uh, I'm going to get to decorating and uh, come back and y'all tell me what you think. Now, before I get started, what I'd like you to do, if you think this is a good idea and you want a Christmas tree too, but you don't have room on the inside, get some painter's tape and make you a Christmas tree. And this year, Everybody that sends me a picture of their painter's tree Christmas tree, paint, painter's, what are, we, what are we gonna call it? Painter's tape RV Christmas tree? I'm gonna coin a phrase here in a minute. Everybody that sends me a picture of their rig with a painter's tape Christmas tree on it, I'm gonna feature it in a video right before Christmas. Yep. So uh, send, your, send your picture in to campervankevin at aol.com. Now, I try to keep that site just for business. If you guys want to chat with me, you can always chat on Camper Van Kevin Facebook. But we're going to keep Camper Van Kevin AOL business. So uh, if you do this, send me your pic, and I'll make a video about it. Felix left the ladder out. I believe I'm going to borrow it. See how high I can reach. Uh, high as I need to. I mentioned before that I'm camping with my friends John and David. David's uh, gone boondocking. He's the hour shower guy. He's the guy that got everybody using the mini splits in their RVs. We'll go over and talk to him for just a second. Yeah, before I get going on that Christmas tree, I thought I might come over and uh, show everybody what you're doing. Hi, guys. It's been a minute since you've been online, right? It's been a year now. Yeah, I'm going to be uh, posting a video uh, pretty soon. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, yeah, I had uh, some kind of trauma going on and and I just didn't want people to think that I was out there asking for more than they were able to give so yeah, I yeah. figured I'd just leave that all personal within the family and everything and then go from there so. but uh so you, you you had a health you had a health issue but yeah. everything everything's things, working itself things out things are working out better yeah much better yeah and so you've you've also got a new uh, uh You've got a, a new oh, yeah. toy yeah. hauler, and these are yeah. things you're going to cover on your your yeah. videos coming soon. Sure. Yeah. Tell yeah. everybody what you're doing here to your truck. Oh, okay. This is a uh, this is a 2012 Ford. Yeah, F350. F350 four by four. Yeah. You, and this this is your water tank system. Yeah, yeah. Over here is the water tank. Uh, you can kind of see the uh, there's the sight tube right there. You can see the level of the uh, waters right there. Why, why are you the RV? Does it have holding tanks? Why are you doing this? Sure. Uh, well, uh, we want to be able to stay out longer and longer. Sure. And uh, especially when we don't know what's going to happen next, you know. So, of course. Um, getting to a place where we don't have to go to town so often it would be, a, you know, it seems to be a, a wise thing to do so so you have a composting type toilet of sorts yes, and, and then you can bring more water in as needed yeah yeah <laughs> so i've got uh uh see this is 130 gallons of water mm -hmm. plus the 55 in the uh, in the rig so you're bumping 200 yeah. gallons of water yeah. that you can carry yeah. yeah so we have 185 gallons of water mm -hmm. and then we have a 65 gallon diesel tank no kidding down behind that uh that thing now, once I'm all done, I'll clean all this up and make it. 
Oh, oh you're yeah, right. You're you're in the middle of construction, but you're going to talk yeah. about this in the, some of your upcoming videos. Sure. So if you haven't subscribed to David Gone Boondocking, he's the uh, yeah. well, I think he's the smartest guy I know. Uh, I don't know. He's, you have, must have a really close circle of friends. So that's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so what he's saying is. He's got two water tanks right here that are uh, 80, 80 gallons, 70, 65 a piece. 65 a piece. And then he's got a diesel tank here for his truck. And he's got a place there to keep a cooler. So, uh, well, that's for trash. Oh, trash. I use that, that. It's a 120 gallon cooler, but you put trash in there and you never smell it. You, you won't ever get a faintest whiff of, of trash of odor. in there. And so. We keep our trash in there, and then whenever we're near a place where we can throw our trash away, then we empty it out. All right. I see you're uh, you're getting into the Christmas spirit here. Oh yeah, it's real pretty at night. Right now, it's uh, it's looking like the peanuts Christmas tree with yeah, yeah. leaning over <laughs> like yeah. that. But uh, she's about ready to change lights. She, okay. We've, we've found our. Uh, we went to a storage unit and we found our smaller lights and everything. So we're, we're all going to celebrate uh, Jesus' birthday and with, celebrate with a few Christmas trees on our RVs and in, in our RVs. And That's all right. Good times with uh, out here in the desert spending with our friends. That's right. How could That's it be right. better? Can't get any better than this. Really can't. All right. So, we'll see you online we'll soon. We'll see you later, Kevin. Bye. I walked over here and left the babies. They don't know what to think. I'm sorry, baby. I left you by here, over here by yourself. It's, it's okay. All right, I gotta get I gotta get busy on a tree. Tucker, you want to help me put this tree up? Man, you know I ain't got no thumbs. I keep forgetting, buddy. I keep forgetting. All right, I'm thinking this is gonna be the center point of the tree. Right straight above the axle. And the people people ask me, why do you use painter's tape? Well, this stuff comes off fairly easy. I'm not telling you to use this. I'm not telling you to do this. Because it's possible that you may have tape residue. It's possible it could fade around the tape. It could be possible this stuff's hard to come off. But it's worth the risk to me. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, back to work. This is my first try. All right, here's my second try. I wanted a wanted a fatter tree. Well, so far, this is what I came up with. Made the tree a little bit wider. But uh, now I'm going to get my razor blade and come back. And uh, clean up my lines a little bit. Well, every Christmas tree has to have a star. So I was trying to think what I want. Did I, could I make a, a star out of a out of a bow? No, it'd be too small. I could do it out of tape. But then I remember seeing something at my campsite. I was over here the other day. <laughs> now, you know, the whole world's talking about recycling. This Cheerios box was left here. Somebody used it to start a fire. I'm going to recycle that Cheerios box into a star y'all just hold on and wait and see how it goes so that's gonna be part of it as well i like the green tape so much i doubled up made another line of it well i keep continuing with the tape uh oh felix is home he's been off with his uh friend angel Maybe he can give us some pointers on this tree. Had a little help here cutting out my stars and balls, everything here. Got the garland. Yeah, let's recycle a little bit. I kind of think this is my favorite one. That's Christmassy, right? Okay, we have a we have a uh, McDonald's uh, bag here, and look, snowflakes. So uh, we're going to cut that out for some decorations. How about that? That sure is smart, Daddy. 
I know, right? I think I'm going to go ahead and stick this uh, star on. I'll just uh, fold over a couple pieces of this uh, Gorilla Tape and stick to the back. That'll work, right? Okay, got tape on the back of the star. So you got to figure out which is top, which is bottom. Take that center. There you go. Got some craziness going on around the camp. Got a visitor. David's being a nut. We have a good time at camp. I like it. I think it's kind of center. We can always change it if we don't like it later. Hey, boss man. Hey. Where you been, friend? Up in the Walmart. Oh, okay. Okay. What you think? What you think? Really? Yeah, it's good. Good. Good tree. What happened? There's a frog? Yeah, yeah. I think you stepped on a frog. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. Good thing I, you know, I've lost my sense of taste and smell. Oh, really? You lost your taste? <laughs> but you was over there. Yeah, yeah. And you taste my food and smelled it. I did, all the way from here. Oh. I guess it's selective. Oh, 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 selective uh, smell. But smell. You, you went all out for your for Miss Gypsy. I was showing people uh, pictures of your uh, of your rig all lit up at night. Kind oh, of, kind okay. of pretty, kind of pretty. Thank you, thank you. All right, well, working on my Christmas tree. All right. Is, is, is Felix approved? So, yeah, far, yeah. so far? Yeah, yeah, so far. All right. All right. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Decided to go ahead and start taping on the lights. Working my way around. I think this is going to work. So, Tucker, you been cutting out snowflakes? Yeah, yeah, I got some scissors. I got some scissors that don't require thumbs. Can I show everybody what you did? You got it. Tucker, that is so, so impressive. You are, you are truly talented. Man, you don't know, you don't know nothing. You don't know everything I can do. I'm Tuck Tuck the Terrible, Tuck Tuck Terrific, Tuck Tuck Head of Security, amongst many other, many other names. Now listen, I do not recommend driving with this stuff on the side of your RV, if you got a drivable RV, I've done it. But don't do it, okay? Um, just for safety, and you don't want the stuff coming off down the highway. Okay, everybody, it's been a minute or two since uh, I showed you the tree. Uh, I like it. The colors, eh, a little odd, but uh, I think it looks really good. You ready to see it? Here we go. Started out with uh, a Cheerios box that had a heart, and then I cut another heart and put it inside the heart of the Cheerio. Does that make any sense? Y'all see it. So there's the star. Got the garland, and all these lights are taped on real strong. I'm hoping I'll be able to drive with it. I may lose a bow or two. I may lose some garland. There you go. Used a piece of cardboard for the trunk of the tree, covered up that green. Yeah. There you go. There's a picture if I ever saw one. Snap. All right. Here we go. The 2021 Painters Tape, RV Painters Tape Christmas Tree. <laughs> that was fun. Can't wait to see uh, y'all's RVs too. We'll put them in a video, just send them to me. CamperVanKevin at AOL.com. But I'm going to end this little video where? Right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. And you guys take care. As always, I give God the glory for my life. Jesus Christ is my Savior. And Christmas, well, Jesus is the reason for the season. All right.
See you next time. Bye bye. Hey everybody, it's later in the evening. Um, working on these clips, making a video for you. And I noticed, guess what? I didn't have any nighttime shots of the Christmas tree. I was, I was stuttering in my mind. Painter's tape, Christmas tree. Anyway, let's go outside and take a look. Appreciate y'all hanging around to the end of the video. Man, can I come out? No, no. I'll be, I'll be right back. Look at that, y'all. Didn't light up the star. Wished I had. I can't wait to see pictures of y'alls. Felix has his lights up tonight, too. He's kind of changed it up a little bit. Ouch, 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 ouch. I'm out here with socks and gravel. Ms. Gypsy all dressed up for Christmas. So here we go, everybody. This is our camp at Quartzsite. Beautiful. Okay. Bye-bye. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs>